Hey everybody, welcome back to the SoCo Customs YouTube channel. As promised, we are going to be talking about the radius arm kits today and what they do. So on these solid front and rear axle applications like HD trucks and like Jeeps, you do need a little bit of help to keep that axle from basically trying to row itself like a kayak when you apply power through it. In the rear, for the most part, the leaf springs and the opposite side mounting of the shocks will keep the, the rear end in check as far as not allowing the axle to try to walk itself. Uh, but up front, you do need to do something to make sure that that axle isn't doing it because you've got coil springs and shocks up there. So the coil springs don't really help like the U-bolts uh, hooked onto the leaf springs would. What they do is they basically mount a bar that braces the front axle and they mount it back to a certain part of the frame. This makes sure that when you are turning, when you are accelerating, when you are applying power through the steering axles, you are keeping both tires on the ground and allowing them to get the best grip possible. However, this does make them a little bit more rigid, so if you are doing some serious wheeling up, up steep, steep climbs or anything like that, it will unweight the front a little bit but unless you're doing some serious wheeling where you would need a four link setup, then you're, you're pretty much okay. Now, to keep the, the rear end in check, especially as you start adding more power through there, and especially as you start running bigger tires and things like that, where you're running more, more momentum, more inertia through that, it might be a good idea to go ahead and get yourself some traction bars, which again, they hook to the rear axle and hook to the frame to make sure that it's not trying to walk itself. So these trucks do come from the factory with radius arms on them. However, in the aftermarket, you will find these kits have much more robust radius arms, and that is to make sure that they're, they're able to control the big tires that you're going to put on there. Be on the lookout as we will also be doing a video on what a four link kit is, especially as we do have other examples of that coming in. We always like to make sure that we have a live example so we can show you exactly what it looks like on the bottom of the truck. If you do have any additional questions about that, please go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, give us a subscribe, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.